Sherrington. I have a question. Um, did you know that Napoleon had a girlfriend who was 19 years older than he was? Miss Sherrington, could you come to the office immediately, please? I did not know that, Alex. <laughs> Ethiopia. It's the jungle. Oh my God, John, you are the principal. Just listen, Lucy. I want you and me to chuck everything. Just chuck it. Oh, good God. And then we go to some third world country, drop to our hands and knees, and sink up to our elbows in filth. Filth? Filth is life, Lucy. See, I chose this janitor's closet as a symbol. See, I really thought this thing out. John, how do we get out of here without people seeing us? Right through that door. I am sick and tired of caring what people think. You go out first. Then I'm I want to bust out of here, and I want to bust out of here with you. Hemingway was shooting elephants when he was my age. John, really? I mean it! John! I hate that. I just absolutely hate that. This Yankee. Don't you ever get me like that ever again. Ever. Oh, did you tell her about the votes? Less than a minute ago, Mrs. Cooper. Congratulations, Lucy. You're queen of the jamboree again. The whole town is so proud of you. <laughs> hey, Queenie. Ugh. Don't you ugh me. So who's bringing the pastries for tomorrow? I am. Well, yes, yeah, so, but she brought them last time. I know. I want to. You want to? All right. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I, I, I really can't. I, I really... Well, good, because I can't either. Sorry to tell you I'm drunk as a turd. Oh, really? No. I know, I hate it, too. I, I just want to ask you a favor. When you see me from now on, can you try looking a little deeper? Deeper? Uh-huh. Because I'm a hell of a surprise when you look past the... You know, me not having much of a job and riding around on a Schwinn, that sort of thing, and I'm so much in love with you, okay? Okay, Willie. Thank you, Lucy. See you later. Lucy, it's it's Vernon. I hope I'm not bothering you. No, no, I'm just getting ready for bed is all. Okay, well, I, I won't keep you. Um, what I was wondering is, are you finished with the books I gave you? Well, no, Vernon, I haven't gotten around to them yet. Well, that's fine then. I was just curious to know your thoughts about the poems and that piece on the end of nature. Because... You always have such a fresh angle on things. Well, I'm looking forward to them, Vernon. I really am. Okay. Well, maybe I'll bump into you tomorrow at school. I hope so. Good night. Good night, Vernon.
the dairy whip you really are I really am I'm coming over what did you say I, I said I'm coming over I mean to your wife oh oh uh, I said that I was gonna go to the school and watch old game film and I did I, I actually went there and I watched old game film so it wouldn't be a lie good that's good what did she say she said fine I'm gonna leave my car in the woods Okay, I'm gonna turn off the outside light so it's darker. We really have to be very careful about this, Clint. No, oh, I, I know, I know. She, you think I don't know? The side door by the woods. Side door by the woods. Here I come. This feeling is frightening, and do you know why? Why? Because this is love, Lucy. This is it. It's what we've waited all of our lives for. And everybody in this little flea-bag town, they think that they love you, but I really love you. And I fooled myself with Verna. This is the real thing. This is the genuine thing. Mm. Mm. Is it? Yes, of course it is. What else could it be? Well, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's just, when it comes to love, the thing that's always clouded the issue for me is... sex. You want me to go? No, I'm just saying... in my life, I've, I've always been... I guess frugal is the word? Frugal? With things like this? Frugal. Well, I'm, I'm frugal, too. All right, now, I want you to stand there, okay? Don't move. I'm going to stand here, okay? Now, I'm going to take off all of my clothes. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. If it's sex that clouds things up for you, I say let's just scrape sex off the plate so you can see things more clearly, all right? This is not sex now. Do you know what this is? What? Two humans talking, all right? Strip down, no bullshit, straight on. Okay, we've known each other for how long? Well, let's see, maybe, what, three years? And for most of that time period, you and I have been doing a lot of, well, smoldering for each other, wouldn't you agree? Have we? Yes, we have. Now, we have been patient. We've been good. We've been respectful of people. Yes, we have. We're not fools. We're not kids all juiced up on hormones. Oh. You know what we are? No 
Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet? I never believed in that kind of baloney. You know, that kind of love where nothing else matters, or the kind of love that you would die for. But tonight, when I was watching that game film, I was just leaning back in my chair with my arms hanging down, and I swear to God, all I could think about was you. Well, but hadn't you actually seen that particular game film before? Yes, but the point is, I've never felt like this before, Lucy. I love you, and, and if I have to wait a year, five years, if I have to wait the rest of my life, I will not touch you until you say, Clint, I love you. Clint? I love you. Somebody, Clint. No, no. What is that gonna look like? Me at your house at this hour? Now, remember, we're on a rendezvous here. Well, couldn't we be doing some sort of school-related thing? Okay, like what? I don't know. A project? An art-slash-gym project? Who's gonna buy that, Lucy? Come on. Listen, if things I throw are hitting you, what if I throw down a rope? A rope? Oh my God, yes, that is a fantastic idea. Go get a rope, Lucy. What the hell was that? Somebody's here. Okay, uh, tell him you're sleeping. Luke, me. It's my father. Don't let him in, all right? You cannot let him in. Shh, shh, shh. Hi, Dad. You got a guest? No, I was just... Oh, no, that's okay. Your goddamn pain in the neck mother said it was too late to come by, but your phone's been busy for weeks, and... I just gotta ask you something, honey. What? Do you think I'm a good mayor? Yes, you're a wonderful mayor. Of course you're a good mayor. Well, then why can't I write a simple goddamn poem? Poem? Yeah, you see, this year... I want to open the jamboree with a little poem. Something that's kind of uplifting, you know? Dealing with uh, virtue and honesty and trust and integrity. It, 
stuff that's right up your alley. I mean, you make people sick with this kind of stuff. You're so goddamn good. <laughs> so I thought maybe you could uh, start me off. Well, it's something I'm going to have to think about, Daddy. I just oh. kind of shut down for the night. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's late. But at least you understand the importance of an opening poem. Goddamn moron of a mother. Lucy. <laughs> what's the matter? Oh, I know what it is. You don't like me calling your mother a moron. Listen, sweetie, I call your mother a moron if she was standing right next uh, to me. Uh, sweetie, it's okay. I mean, I mean, she calls me Dumbo and <laughs> Mr. Flabby and that kind of thing, you know that. Sweetheart, someday you're gonna meet the ideal guy. And if you can stay together as long as we have, well, then it'll all go to hell for you too. And that'd be that. Anyway, when a good opening for my poem hits you, just give me a call or come over to the house, okay? Oh, thank you, sweetie. You're the best. Good night. Oh, and your porch light is out. I know, I can hear, I can hear everything. Lucy, rope, we gotta get rope. I need to get out of here. Rope? Well, how much rope? Lots, miles of the stuff. Well, I don't know, Clint, won't me asking for miles of rope at this hour make people think something's funny? Good point. Uh, uh, Willie Perry. Willie Perry? Yes, he's perfect, Lucy. Go down to the porthole and find Willie Perry, all right? He's nuts. He saves everything, all right? He'll have tons of rope. He'll help us. But what about the, the rendezvous aspect? That's why Willie is perfect. We're blood brothers since we were 10. All right, he won't tell a soul. Just go get Willie. All right, you got to do it, Lucy. Go. Get him. Lucy? I don't suppose you have any idea it is against the law to look that fantastic, do you? <laughs> Howard, I'm just not gonna stop anymore. I'm just not, this is no fair. We gotta go dancing, Lucy. And we haven't been dancing for months. You remember the last time we went dancing? I do. Sweat was pouring off of us. We gotta get sweating like that again, Lucy. I mean it. <laughs> Hope. Gotta go. Now, hey, where are you going so late? No, 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 just name a night, I'll call you. <laughs> God, you break my heart. I don't get it. You don't get it? No, don't get it. Hey, congratulations, my queen, third year in a row. What are you doing in here? You want some popcorn? No, thank you, Brenda. I'm looking for Willie, actually. Willie? You just missed him. He just went up the cliffs with Randy and, I don't know, a couple of others. Want a pretzel? No, thank you. No. I'm completely lost. I'm not anywhere near this address. You looking for Clint Coburn? Yeah, you know him? Yeah, who doesn't? He's not far. Hey, Luz, are you going up to the cliffs after Willie? No. You going home? Yeah. Okay, follow her. She goes right past Clint's place. Is that okay with you, Luz?
Right away. What are you gonna do? Toot? Toot? Yeah, when you come to Queen Colbert's house, you can toot your horn or. I'll slow down and point. There's deer. Deer? Ceramic deer and ducks. You'll see. I'm in a little bit of a hurry. No problem. I'm right behind you, Lucy. I'm in a little bit of a hurry. Something I kind of bonked my forehead back there. Oh my god, what happened? I don't know. I hit my hand on the stupid car. You just had a rag or. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah. Thanks, I just didn't have anything. Oh, this is good. Good. I know you're in a hurry, so. Uh... Bye. How bad is it? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's nothing. Uh, can you see? Yeah, well, it's a gash. A gash? Yes, a gash. I mean, is it deep? Well, no, not very. I mean, your skull's right there. You can see my skull. No, I, I'm just saying. Right, right, right. How deep can it be? Because your skull's right there. Good. Oh, this is good. Oh, man, oh, man it sure is bleeding. Uh, are there any main arteries in your head? I, I don't know. No, I don't I think so. But I, I think you ought to get some stitches. Stitches? Oh, God. I mean, where do I get stitches? I, you know, I don't even know where I am. You know, fine. You know, I'll, I'll deal with this. I'm good. You know, thank you very much for your trouble. It's Oh, let me go. See Daisy. Come, come here. Come sit. It's a little case of the whirlies. A little funny when it comes to you know, blood of my own. That's out of my. Oh boy. Oh. This is awful. I'm so sorry, but. How far do we have to go for some ice? Clint, I couldn't get Willie or any rope, but there's a man at the bar and he's looking for you. He's going to your house. What? What man? Who? I never saw him before. He's in the car. I'll be right back. He's in the car? Shh. Yes. Outside in the car? Yes, he needs help. What could I do? Ditch him. That's what. Who is this guy? I don't know. Rydell somebody? He didn't even know where you lived. Rydell? I, I, I don't know any Rydell. What's he look like? Dark. He looks dark. Dark? Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, please. Please, please. No, no. Dark? Oh. I'll be right back. I'm down in a hole floating, and now they're coming to get me. Coming to get you? Who's coming to get you, Clint? Thugs, Lucy. Thugs. Oh. Oh, Jesus, God, now what? Thugs? Granville's thugs. There's only one. There's only one dark thug. Who's Granville? Granville's a bookie, Lucy. My bookie. It, it, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. A bookie? I make a sports bet or two. No big deal. No big deal. It, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters but us. Lucy? I'll be back soon, Clint. No, 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 don't go, Lucy. For God's sakes, the guy's a goon. That's a nice feature to see.
is your dad. Who? Your husband. I don't have a husband. Please hold still. So you're a friend of Clint's? You know him? Yes. Yes, we teach at the same school. He's a teacher. Jim, he said he's a coach. What kind of coach? Football coach. A football coach. And what do you teach? The bleeding stopped. Thank you. And what is it that you teach? Art, shall I drive you home or? Art, really? <sighs> yes. Man. Man, that's incredible to be able to teach art. What's so incredible about it? Well, I mean, what is it? You don't know what art is? Well, kinda. But I, I couldn't put it into words. I mean, what is it? And what is it that you do? <laughs> what, what about if you ask me, how about if you ask me what is it that I would like to do? Look, are you I feeling better? I have no interest in knowing what it is that I would like to do. What is it that you would like to do? None of your granddad is this. Um. Yeah, I. I would like to build a stone cottage in the country. I would like to have maybe five acres. I would like to write at least one good poem. Are you feeling better? Yeah, let's, let's test her out. Where are the cliffs? The cliffs? The, the ones they were talking about in the bar. Hard to describe. Huh. Kind of like art. Thank you. You've been very helpful. I'll walk back. I, I'd like to walk back. Fresh air. I'm all perked up. Do you know where you are? No idea. Let me know when you figure out what art is. Lucy! Clint, it's almost eight. I'm gonna call in sick. No, no, you, you, 
hand. Look, I slept like a log last night. I feel great, and I thought it all out, all right? Everything fits. You have to go to school. I do? Yes! Yes, if we're both not at school, people might think something's fishy. Plus, if you don't go to school, you can't go to the hardware store for rope. Forget Willie. All right, after school, you go to the hardware store and you buy all the rope that Eddie's got, and then you come home, you pull me out, I go home, and I lie like crazy, so go. What about the whole bookie thing? Well, that's my lie. Some thug kidnapped me last night. He came looking for me at the bar. Brando will back it up. You see? It all fits. All right, so just go, okay? Go, 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 go! Poor Verna. I don't want to go in there either, but somebody's got to tell her. Tell her what? You didn't hear? A couple of joggers found Clint's SUV down the old Jones logging road. It's starting to get weird with the blood and all, isn't it? What blood? They found a big wad of bloody Kleenex on the road near Clint's house. Lucy. Hi. Um, I copied something down I think you're really gonna like. Um, because you know you're always saying you don't know very much. Well, listen, the less one knows, the more passionate one is able to become. And the more one knows, the less passionate one is able to become. So, do you think that's true? Or? Gee, uh, I'm not sure, Vernon. Well, if it is, it's pretty sad because, you know, we, like us, not like people, thrive on knowing. And what hope do we have to sustain passion, you know? Do you see? I'll sleep with you and you, you, you're not a big thing. Bye, Vernon. Did you tell him? Who? Clint Coburn, did you tell him about me? Did I tell him what about you? That I'm looking for him. Did you talk to him at all? He never went home, he never went to school, he must be ducking me. Why am I doing this? Who's kidding who? Does he drink? Drink? Booze. I would have no information about that. I'll try some bars. I went to those cliffs, and they're really beautiful. And I'm sorry about being such a big baby about this whole thing. It's not even puffy. You're very sweet, thank you. All of it, please, Ed. Maybe we should have left it on the spool. What do you want with all this rope? Oh, we're doing a rope project in class. <laughs> please don't do that, Ed. I'm just growling at you. I know, but still. You make a man growl, you know? That's all there is to it. 
Do you have more spools of rope, Ed? Nope. I can get more. Might take a week. Might take more. Might take less. This is fine. Well, I'll haul it out to the car for you. Why don't you hold my chocolate eclair for me? You can take a bite out of it if you want. Oh. oh, God. Clint! People are coming over! That was just six hours? It felt like a month. Did you get the rope? Yes, I'm throwing it down. Did you hear what I said? People are coming over. People? People who? My friends. Once a month at three. I forgot. There's nothing I can do. Fifteen minutes. Are you reaching your hand up? Yes, yes. Keep her coming. How much did you get? All they had. And they found your car. What? No, that's impossible. I threw branches on it. And grass. Well, they found it. Maybe I should just tell. Tell? No. Verna, she might just... I don't know, she might just kill right over. It would be like murder, all right? We, we cannot tell her. Are you still feeding me the rope? Yes, are you fishing your hand around? Yes, both hands. Well, that's it. That's it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Helen's here, oh, God. Uh, uh, the rug. Cover me with the rug. The rug. Wait, wait, what, what, what if they step on it? What if someone falls in? The coffee table. Genius, the coffee table. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you throw me down a snack first? Okay? I'm dying down here. I need a bread, a carrot, anything, please. Okay, maybe we ought to let Nancy off the hot seat for now. No, no, this is good. Just, just let me finish. Where did I leave off? Um, he could just kick the birdcage across the room. Oh yeah, and then, and then he said every time we kissed, all I could see was our jaw hinges opening and closing, our tongues like slabs of meat poking in and out, our teeth separated from each other by just two flaps of hide. Oh, hide? Yeah, I, I don't know. He hunts a lot. Maybe that's why he called our lips hide. This one doesn't sound so good, Nance. No. No. Well, there. I'm done being on the hot seat. Who's next? Lucy? Yeah, you don't need to take notes for Lucy. Lucy's always fine, and the men in her life are always nice. I'm not always fine. Oh, yeah. How many fines and nices was it last time? Remember, we kept track. Oh, uh, yes. So, 17. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could say it a thousand times and that doesn't mean it's true. I'm not always fine. Nobody is and I would really like if you would stop thinking that about me. I think I'm gonna make more tea. <laughs> the other thing that gets me, there's like a million people out there that I could have a life with, that I could love. I know. Does an idea just drive you nuts? I mean, in this town, there are men. Oh, please. Name one. Name ten. Include addresses. You know, I just think that anybody could love anybody. I mean, that's what I think. No? Yeah, I like where the table was, Luce. This is nowhere. Well, I'm just experimenting. Hello? Yeah, he's one of the guys in town that I'm kind of attracted to. He is married. I'm just talking about being attracted. Uh, sorry, hello? No. What do you mean, no? No attraction, none. And he's a football coach. It's like a, it's like a lion tamer. It's not a real thing to be. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> is everything okay? Oh, fine, fine. Just a little emergency oh. school. Nothing big, but so... Upsie daisy. I guess we gotta wrap it up a bit early-ish. I'm so sorry. No, no, go, 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 clean up, go, go, go. We can clean up, go. But I like cleaning.
coming up. I'm less than halfway done with my French cooler. I'm not budging, so go. It's fine. Bye. Bye. Who's next? Mm. Oh, I'd like to go. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Is it a deal breaker if the guy has no teeth? <laughs> I was waiting for your guest to leave. This is My a mid station. God! I didn't, I, I didn't know where else to go. My heart. I didn't know where else to go. I, I, I'm sorry. Everybody's after me. I know. I know. Wait, you know. The police just called. They want to talk to me oh. about you. God. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing? No, absolutely nothing. I swear to you. Well, but they said you ran away. Yeah, I did. But do you think I could hide out in your house for a little while? No. no I, I know. I mean, after your guest. No. Uh, well, okay then. Well, you better start going. Where? Into the police station. They're expecting you, aren't they? Talk to them. You talk to them. They're looking for you. I can't. They'll arrest me. Why, if you did nothing? Because they think I did. They think he's missing because of me. I, I, what kind of town is this? I walk into a bar, and everyone's pointing at me and shouting about Clint Coburn, and then some guy lunges at me. It's a nightmare. And, and, and I just ran. I just left my car there, and I ran. And, and it's not even my car. It's my idiot brother's car. Why am I lying? I'm so tired of myself. How much money does Clint Coburn own? How do you know he owes money? Well, isn't it obvious? Is it? You don't know him? You're looking for him? You seem all mysterious? Mysterious, really? Yes. Mysterious in a threatening kind of way? Yes, I would say you seem threatening, yes. All right. Well, I'm happy to hear you say that. Because these aren't even my pants. Maybe I can do this. I, I, I just gotta find him. So I'll just get this over with. Where is he? Where is this man? Turn into the parking lot. Oh, Lordy, lay low, lay low. I'm low, I'm low. Lower. No, there is a lower. Personal support. I nearly tackled the lunatic in the bar, but he stiff on me. Mm -hmm. He's gigantic. Uh, Come on, I'll walk you. <laughs> so, he got out of his car, and when he came over to your car, his face was covered with blood. I wouldn't say covered with blood. He was bleeding a little. Did you ever look in his car? No. No? No. And so, it is possible that Clint Coburn was already in that car and that the blood was caused by a struggle between the two men. Howard, why would he be looking for Clint Coburn if Clint Coburn was sitting right in his car? To throw you off the track. Off what track, Howard? See, you have no feel for this because you have absolutely no aptitude whatsoever for deceit. You believe that the world is good and that Good people tell the truth. Howard, I have people at my house. Okay, Lucy. I just want to thank you for coming down. God damn. I like the looks of your hair. Is that a crime? No. Yeah, I'd have kept running after him, but I tripped on my shoelace. Oh. Yeah. Hey, where's my bike? Someone stole my bike. Howard! Howard!
I'm not behaving rationally. Art is the human effort to position forms, sounds, colors, and other elements into an entity that manipulates the sense of beauty. Did you come here to tell me that? No. Then why'd you come here? I don't know. What did you mean when you said that you were tired of yourself? Here's the big joke in my family. My parents work in the iron and steel business. My mother irons, and my father steals. Decent joke, right? The thing is, it's not really a joke. It's kind of the truth. My mom's just home. My dad's a crook. I have three older brothers. They're crooks, too. They hate it when I call them that. They say, Bookie's asshole. We're professional gamblers. Fine. When I was little, my brothers would jump on me, and Randy would hold down my arms, and Craig would hold down my legs, and my oldest brother, Jamie, would stick his fingers into my armpits and tickle me and tickle me and tickle me until I did not have enough air for noise. And I thought, I, I actually thought this, I am going to die. I, I, am, I am going to die. My dad would see this, and he'd say, you're, you're being tickled for Christ's sake. Laugh, goddammit, laugh. And everyone's laughing, and I'm not laughing. I wrote a poem. I wrote a, a, a poem for my date to the high school prom. And my brothers found this and they posted it on the bulletin board like it was the funniest thing they'd ever seen. And I, I don't even know why I'm telling you all this right now, except that's how I feel, like I don't have enough breath for noise. So, here I am. There's blood caked in my hair, there's even a tiny car, it's not mine. I'm stealing bicycles. Townspeople are chasing me through the streets while I search for someone who doesn't exist. Why? Because everyone in my family wants me to be something that I can't be. Cannot be, cannot. And I don't have the balls to say fuck off. Fuck off, everyone. I want different things. You know, my, my dad cheats on my mom and my mom cheats on my dad. My brothers cheat on their wives and their wives cheat on my brothers and all they do with their lives is make lots and lots of money from nothing but other money. And I say I want nothing to do with it and they keep on saying taste it, taste it, taste it. Just once if you don't like it, you can spit it out. And I'm spitting it out. I don't like it. I want something different. I, I, I hate it. You know, I want to be someone who says, hey, how about adding something good to the shit pile? And you know what? You're wrong. It's, it's, it's a fine poem and here's what I want. Here's what I'm going to do. And this is who I want to be and this is who I am. But do I say these things? No, I do not. Why can't I be the guy who says those things? I am so fucking tired of me. And all I want to do at this particular moment in my particular life is this. Coburn is in a hole in the living room of my house. until I say one word to you. 
one magic word that will unlock your treasure box and free your gems and guide to oh God, can you hear me? Now I, I'm talking like a poet or, or something. Because down here, there are no distractions, no sensations, no nothing, except for my whiskers starting to itch a little and I'm starving for a cheeseburger, that kind of thing. But except for that, what I am is just a floating chunk of unbelievably pure clarity. <laughs> oh, Lucy, Lucy, I want to be with you. I want to hold you. I want to wrap my arms around you. I want to suck your entire head into my mouth and run my tongue around you like a, like a fucking lollipop. I mean, do you hear how I'm phrasing things now? <laughs> oh, and here's the magic word that I want to say to you that I see with such clarity. Jump. Jump! Be with me! It, it'll be like loving in dreams, holding each other naked, floating alone in the blackness forever. Where are you going? I, I stole a bike. I'm, I'm gonna return it. You know, it, Seems like you got a lot on your plate at the moment, so you don't need me in your hair. You're not in my hair. You're not. And Clint Coburn is not on my plate. He's never been on my plate. Never. I just... Girl, you okay? Howard, he's done nothing. Oh? And then where is Clint Coburn? He's a swell question, officer. Where could that Clint Coburn be? Well, that's cute. Get it. Huh? You got a lot of courage, girl. I'm afraid there's gonna be a lot of questions, a lot of paperwork. We'll do it together, make it fun. Okay. <clears throat> Just, uh, up, up we go. Hi, Hi, Miss Sherrington. I have to talk to you right now. Alex! I know about Coach Coburn, okay? Coach Coburn, Alex. That you killed him, but that doesn't matter to me because I love you. Oh, great, another gut talks. Um, oh, you know what? I've got a spot right nearby that nobody knows about where we can hide. Dogs? Yeah, listen, you can hear me. Be 40 when you're 53. That's not bad, right? Alex. Coach Coburn is not dead. He's in my house. He fell in a hole. A hole? Go to my secret spot anyway. It's okay that Coach Coburn isn't dead. I mean, we can go there even if you just want to rest or get away from the search party. It's not far, I promise. I want to 
hear a single peep, little bird. No. No. What? No, no, not a lollipop. I should have said popsicle. I should have said popsicle. It makes much more sense. Hello? Clint? Is that you in there, coach? Uh, no, Mayor, it, it's not. Everything is very normal here. God's name. <laughs> this hole is invigorating. It's scientifically invigorating. Well, then jump on in if it's so invigorating. Invigorating my ass. I was just... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. Didn't mean that bit about my ass. Hey, no problem. It's all guys up here, coach. <laughs> <laughs> it's John here. Yeah, thanks, John. Uh, are you fishing around, Clint? I sure am, Mr. Mayor. Opened up, it's so odd, it's so strange. But Clint was at my house because we were about to have an affair. Yeah, we, we guessed that. We did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah it was pretty clear. Oh, yeah. I mean, Verna and everything. How could I have done that to her? I told him I loved him. Oh, oh doesn't well, do that. I mean, that's not a big deal. Don't you think that's a very big thing to tell someone you love him? Well, sweetie, you made a hopeful guess. Who hasn't guessed wrong, right? I do all the time. Yeah. Because listen to this, it's not even 24 hours later, and now his voice makes my skin crawl. How can that be? How could I have said I love you to this man? Listen, that skin crawling part? That can take years to get to. You're very lucky. Yeah. I don't know anything about anything. No, 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 no. Now, Verna, blow your nose, okay? Everything's okay. Just blow. I will. I am. I am. <laughs> I microwave some lasagna. Lasagna? Yummy. When you didn't come home. Well, honey, how can I come home? Okay, I'm in a hole. <laughs> Verna, sweetie, do not worry, all right? They're gonna get me out of here. We got a great fire department. <laughs> of course. <laughs> They're gonna get you out of here. Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> what were you doing here? Here? Yeah, because you said you were going to the school, so... Well, I, I went to the school. I went there and I watched the game films. You ask Herb, the janitor, uh, he saw me. You know, but this, this hole is what we should be talking about. Uh, what is it? Yes. What is it? What is this hole? How could this be? Well, we don't know, Verna. Uh, okay. All we know at the present moment is that there is a hole and Clint's in it. And it just opened up. She just opened right up. Huh. Sweetie, what were you doing here? Uh, doing? Yes, when it opened up, what were you... Why were you here at Lucy Sherrington's house when it opened up, I guess, is um, what I'm a little confused about. Well, because Miss Sherrington's the art teacher. That's why. Where else would I go? Go for what? For what? For the dummies. Look, is this important? I I'm in a hole, for God's sakes. What dummies? I told you about the dummies. I know I did. A paper mache blocking dummies for the football team. Look, is that rope still coming? Is Lucy available? 
out of your mind? I don't know. Sucks him out of the air. It's honestly an act of God. Everybody knows that. A UFO. I mean, whoever heard of a UFO just sitting there letting you look at it? I'm just saying maybe it's from outer space. I don't think so. I say the entire thing is an optical illusion. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what the hole is. And I'll tell you right now, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's a mouth. It's saying, just shut up, you little fools. Just stop trying to make sense out of everything. And go outside in the moonlight and make love in a cornfield before some hole comes and swallows you down. Get that man another beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, everybody can laugh, but I got four kids. And to tell you the truth, I don't know why we're not calling in the National Guard or somebody. Well, Vernon, you're the science teacher. Do you think the hole poses a threat to our community? Um, I think this hole, in my opinion, poses a threat to nothing but our arrogance. You know, we think we can know everything. We think we can cage everything with words. You might as well ask me in a language I've never heard to describe in a language I don't speak the taste of a food I've never eaten. Well, what we have, in my opinion, in the floor of Lucy Sherrington's home is a, is a peephole into the vast landscape of our ignorance. It's an exhilarating, humbling view into our frailty and limitations. That's what I think the whole is. Were you warm enough last night? Yes, I was. Yes. It's a wonderful sleeping bag. Oh, Alex. I'm wearing your pajamas and my hair's all stringy and my mouth's all mossy and I'm behaving like a crazy lady. What do you think of Miss Sherrington now? It's, uh, different. What is? Being here with you, it's, uh, it's different than I thought it would be. It's always different than you think, Alex. You think about doing something, and then you do it, and it's always different than what you thought. Always. Absolutely always. Then... How can anybody ever make a promise? The Jamboree. That's it. What's it? We're out. What do you mean, out? Out of things to tie together, it looks like, coach. Out? Out? For now, anyways. Plus, man, the jamboree's turning up. Well, fuck the jamboree! Drapes! Tie drapes together! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was way out of line. I'm just... I am going ape shit down here, okay? I just... I, I need to get a message to Berna. Is that is that possible? 
All right, I, I need to tell her that I made a mistake. You stay tight down there, coach. Everyone's going to the jamboree. And as soon as it's over, I guarantee you, we are going to string together every last thing in this town that has two ends on it. And that's a promise from the mayor. I read you, Coach. Loud and clear. You read me? Loud and clear, John. Keep her coming, big fella. Give me more. Okay. Uh... Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we and again and again 
and again until you know that love had nothing to do with it. Nothing. And everyone, thank you for voting for me. I've been a terrible queen. And I'm sorry, Mom and Dad, for making you worry and for being so crazy and for saying just... I'm tired of holding this thing in. I love you, Lucy. And my love is the real thing. Yeah, well, I'm the one that loves her. She's my Lucy. No, oh, she's nobody's Lucy. Love is not about owning. It's about freeing. Lucy, I give you your freedom. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats, because here's a news flash. I love Lucy, and we're going to Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> well, are, are you willing to strap yourself till the end of time to the leg of the woman you love? I am. That's love. No. Love is the eternal echo of the first heartbeat. It's the gasping at the soul of the illusion of perfection. I just want to point out that being great in a sack hasn't been mentioned. That can make up for a lot of dead spots down the road, so... I second that. Clinton, my husband, down in that deep, dark hole. This is your wife, Verna. And I will tell you what love is because now I know. Love is weak and love is helpless because all I really want, as it turns out, is you in my arms. And I say what Verna wants, Verna gets. Yeah. Folks, we have to construct a lifeline to Clint. Yeah. So if we can tie it, bring it. If, if it's got two ends on it, we need it. If it's hanging from something else, then disassemble it. Yeah. So unstrap your straps. Untether your tethers, unchain your chains, yeah. unleash your dogs, yeah. debelt your pants, have your pants fall down, well then tie those fallen pants together, <laughs> so pull down your drapes, yeah. unlink your beds, yeah. tie, tie your bed together, tie your sheets to your sheets, and your pillowcases to your pillowcases, yeah. everyone to the hole! You got it? Yes! I'm talking! Can you feel me, Doug? Yeah, he, he's got it! He's got it! He's got the rope! He has got the rope! He's got the rope, Pugs! Okay. Alright, we're gonna start the pull now, guys! Ready? Pull! you say love me love me love me and, and I said nothing maybe it's because I, I don't really know what love is but 
This I do know. If I had a shirt, I swear to God, I would be honored for you to blow your nose on it. Because I love you and I love your son, I do. I'm so sorry. Baby. I love you too. You're free to go. Nothing like family, is there? Lucy Sherrington. Yes, you need to set Rydell White free. I already did. Had none to hold him on since we located Coach Coburn. Did Rydell say where he was going? I guess I don't understand how you can scrub such a small potato's job like this. How does it happen? It's embarrassing. Please, please give me that. This is, this is the problem. Please, still give writing this crap. Jamie, I mean it. Give me that back. Danger? The danger of a stranger is the threat of a better life. Jamie, I mean it. Give, give me that back. Mean? Give me that, that back. Mean? Give me that back. Oh. 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 Such an idiot, right now. I'm having trouble not saying goodbye. Come here. That's some hole. What is it? How can it be? Pajamas. Yes, pajamas. That hole of yours that, that your brothers made fun of. I do. It's very short. Could I hear it? Why? I just like to hear it. Putting love into words is like putting rose petals 
into a chipper. The heart rattles, the soul shakes, and for what? Out comes pink goo. Stranded in a mystery Searching for something more Maybe this is it for